Hey guys, it's DJ Bo with a review on the brand new Irradiant Mini Move. And this is a moving head wash LED light. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over the fixture itself first. And then I'll have a uh, opportunity to turn all four of these on. I have four of these here. And show you what they do. Now, let's go over the actual light itself first and the fixture. Um, when you take it out of the box, it's what it looks like. you got your uh, DMX chart here, your dip switch chart um, is what I meant. you got your dip switches here. Um, it does auto mode, sound active mode, and it also has a DMX mode on it as well. It's a very small light. Get under the camera here. Um, and it's about 7 inches this way, and it's about... Seven and a half inches tall. Um, there's about 86 LE. There is 86 LEDs on this light. I'm going to show you the other side of it. The other side of it here, you'll see that it has your DMX in and out right here. It has your sensitivity knob, your microphone, and a detachable power cord, which is extremely nice. I saw some of the other videos on this light about a year ago because they, they actually came out a while ago sometimes it takes forever for things to get from uh, the other side of the world over here to the United States but um, they actually had the wire uh, it was hardwired into the unit um, obviously us DJs over here like it this way and then your fuse underneath here but um, your fan there now you can get these lights at DJ Supply, that's djsupply.com. I got mine from uh, Cliff, otherwise known as DJ Biff, and we'll talk about um, that here in just a moment. Some of the pros and cons of this light, real quick. Um, if you read uh, the reviews and watch some of the videos, um, you'll know about some of the uh, pros and cons of this light. Uh, a couple things that I found is when I were, was unpacking these lights, uh, the head and the arm obviously the head comes really close to the arm here you can fit a piece of paper in between there and that's about it well I found that with a uh, a light that is uh, this affordable you get what you pay for but uh, the head was coming and actually touching the arm slightly here and this is made out of like a, a I believe this is an aluminum of sorts but um, all I needed to do is just kind of take that aluminum, that metal there, and bend it back a little bit, and it seems to be flowing freely now. So, good to go there. Uh, DJ Biff um, will tell you that this light is very loud as far as the fan is concerned, so you don't want to be using this light at wedding receptions during, like, the, uh, um, the toast or the blessing, but you should be pretty good during... Uh, the meal and during the dancing portion in the evening and so forth. Great for uplighting too. And there you have it. Uh, one of the other drawbacks that I did find out uh, on this was uh, the way that the bracket is built. Look at the bottom with the brackets on there. There's four, you know, places to put uh, oak clamps on there, or whatever. But it is so close to the side here. This bracket. If it was out a little bit better, a little bit more, it'd be a little bit better. But you can't use a wing nut on there because it will obviously hit that uh, side of the fixture. So you'll have to use a nut. But that's, you know, here and nowhere there. That's not a huge deal. So, uh, price. I know what you're wondering. What did you pay for these, Bo? Well, um, djsupply.com. I talked to uh, DJ Biff or Cliff over there. And uh, he gave me a great deal. They normally run between 140 150 per light. If you buy more than one, obviously you're going to get a discount when you buy a quantity. So uh, go ask him what uh, kind of deal he can work you out for uh, however many you need. All right, I'm going to move this camera back. I'm step in front of it here. I'm going to move this camera back, and I'm going to go through the auto mode on these lights. I'm just going to let them go for a little bit, kind of go up in the air. The uh, the window over there, it is slightly light outside still, so this might not be the greatest. But we're going to try. All right. I'm going to plug these.
these in, you will see that they are loud. They're going to reset themselves. Then we'll go right into auto mode. And it's kind of neat when they strobe. Uh, they go in like a sequence. They don't all go at the exact same time. I know Tyrone Blue had uh, mentioned that as well in his review of these lights. It's kind of neat how they don't go all at the exact same time. It's, uh, I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's supposed to do that. Um, Tyrone didn't even know, but it's pretty neat. I really like that. All right, so there you have it. That's just auto mode. I'll go through all the uh, colors here real quick. I'll try to aim it back here on the wall. There's your red. You got green, blue, red and green, green and blue, red and blue, and then red, green, and blue for your whitewash. And we'll go back to blue, and we'll strobe it. You got a fast strobe with channel five. Fast, and we'll slow it down a little bit. And I don't know if you can see the sequence or not, so I'll tone it up so maybe you can see that it's they're kind of going in a in a sequence. They're not all going at the exact same time. Pretty neat, I really like that feature. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm gonna unplug these now so I, you can hear me a little bit better. But uh, there you go, that's the Irradiant Mini Moves. I'll put all the info about these lights, the specs, uh, price, and the website that I got these from, the store that I got these from, um, over in uh, the right-hand side of uh, the video here. So make sure you go over there and check that out. If you have any questions about it, feel free to shoot me an email I, uh, or leave your comment below, obviously. Um, I hope to uh, get the opportunity to actually show you these out at a gig. I do have a gig this weekend, uh, a wedding on Saturday, but it's outside, so I probably won't take these. But uh, on Sunday, I have a teen dance. I'll hopefully get a chance to use these there. So there you go, the Irradiant Mini Moves. More to come. Make sure you rate, make sure you comment, and be sure to subscribe. It's DJ Bow Entertainment, and that's my review on the Irradiant Mini Moves.